Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's practice. We're gonna move through a vinyasa flow style practice where we're gonna target a little bit more into the lower body. So grab anything you need and let's just get started in a tabletop all fours position. So come on onto hands and knees. Hands under the shoulders as always, knees underneath the hips, just spread and press through the fingertips. And we'll just start simply by just connecting our breath to our movement. So on your inhale, drop your belly, raise your gaze, find your cow pose. And then exhale to round the upper back, draw the chin to the chest. Again, inhale, drop the belly, raise the gaze. Exhale to round the upper back, chin to chest. And just continue like this for a few more rounds in your own time with your own breath. And if you want to, you can begin to add in some other movements, maybe circling through the hips, maybe circling through the wrists, the head, the neck. Just kind of use this first moment just to kind of wiggle around, notice what's going on for you. Perfect. And then come back to centre, back to stillness. Bring your knees slightly further together. And then as you inhale, extend the right leg up and back behind you. Now from there, flex your right foot, bend your knee as if the sole of the foot was going to touch the sky. And then really lift the foot high until you begin to feel the glute muscles fire up. Good. Keep pressing firmly through the hands. Nice, strong, engaged belly. Take an inhale, lift the chin, lift the right foot up. And then as you exhale, bring the knee to the nose, press the floor away round the upper back. On an inhale, send the right foot to the sky, keeping that knee bent, squeeze at the top. Exhale, knee to nose round the upper back. One more time, inhale, lift and squeeze, feel the glutes begin to fire up. And then exhale, knee to nose, press the floor away. Inhale, lift the right leg, lift the chin, lift the chest. And then as you exhale, extend the right leg to straighten it and then place the right toes to the back of the mat. Take the left foot out to the left, turn the right foot flat. And then from there, inhale the right arm to the sky, come into this modified side plank. Draw the hips slightly forwards, flex the right foot. And then as you inhale, lift the right foot up as high as it will go until you feel the glutes, the legs fire up. And then exhale, release it down. Good, and then just continue like that. Lift it up and lower it down. Good, let's go inhaling up. Bring it back down. And we're going to go for five. Down, four. Three. Two. And on one, lift it up. Hold it there for four. Three. Two. And then one, place it down, place the right hand down, take the left toes to the back of the mat, and then just step the right knee back in, come back to your tabletop position. Really nice, hopefully already starting to feel the glutes and the leg muscles uh, switch on. Bring the knees again a little bit closer together, extend the left leg behind you, and then bend the left knee, lift the heel towards the sky. Firm press through the hands, strong straight arms. On an inhale, lift that left foot, lift the chin, lift the chest. Exhale, knee to nose, round, 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 round. Inhale, extend the legs, squeeze at the top. Exhale, knee to nose, press the mat away. One more time, inhale, lift and open. Exhale, knee to nose, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale, lift it up to the top, lift the chest. And then this time, straighten the left leg and place the left toes down to the mat. Take the right foot off to the right, turn the left heel flat. Inhale, the left arm up, come into that modified side plank. Flex the left foot and then lift the left foot up as high as it will go. Really feel the outer hip begin to kind of activate, engage. Good, and then lower it back down. And then continue to do that, so lifting it up and lowering it down. Lifting it up and lowering it down. And we're going to go for five, four, three, two. 
one, lift it up, hold for four, squeeze, 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 it's burning for three, two, and on one, lower it down, ouch, release the left hand and come back to tabletop, give the hips a little wiggle. Really, really nice. Come back to that neutral tabletop, hands under the shoulders, and then step the right toes back, step the left toes back, come into your high plank. Remember, you can modify at any point by dropping the knees today. Bring the weight into the right foot, flex the left foot, and then inhale, lift the left heel to the sky. Again, feel the bum far up, and then lower it back down. And then lift it up, lower it down, and we're going to go for four, for three, for two, for one, release it down, pivot to the little toe edge of the right foot, lift the left arm up, come into full side plank. You can always drop the knee, come into the same variation we just did in that modified, otherwise this time keep both legs lifted and then inhale, lift the left foot up and release it down. Good, four more, lift it up, release it down, lift it up, release it down, two more, lift it up, release it down, one more, lift it up, release it down, plank pose, drop the knees, keep the toes tucked, bum to heels, a moment in child's pose, just take a deep breath in, and a big sigh, let it go, lovely, and then come back to your tabletop position, Step back into your strong high plank again, remembering to drop the knees if you want to. Bring the weight into the left foot, flex the right, and then lift the leg off the floor, and then release it back down. Lift it up, really squeeze at the top, lower it down. Good, lift it up for four, and down, for three, and down, for two, and down, for one, and down, pivot to the little toe edge of the left foot, plank, side plank, sorry, right arm to the sky. Good, flex the foot, and then when you're ready, begin to lift the right leg up, squeeze at the top, lower it back down. Lift it up, lower down. Lift up, lower down. Lift up, lower down, nearly there, you've got it, lift up. Lower down, let's go for one more, lift up, lower down, plank pose, knees drop, child's pose, bum to heels. Take a full breath in, big sigh, exhale, lovely, inhale, look forward, come forward, tabletop, and then exhale, lift up and back, come into downward facing dog. And just pedal out the legs for a moment, shake the hips, give everything a little bit of a wiggle. And then from there, look forward and just begin to walk the feet all the way to the top of the mat. Bring your big toes together, nice generous bend into the knees. And then inhale, reach your arms up into chair pose. Good, sit down nice and low, keep the thumbs lifting high. And then begin to bring the weight into the right foot, take an inhale. And then as you exhale, step the left foot back as you aeroplane the arms back behind you. Lovely. On an inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. High lunge. And as you exhale, keep the arms raised. Begin to lean the chest forwards back into that kind of thunderbolt lunge. Inhale, step the left foot forward to meet the right foot. Chair pose. Good. Let's take it slow for this first round. So inhale here. Exhale, aeroplane the arms, step the right foot back into your aeroplane lunge. Inhale, high lunge, lift all the way up. And then exhale, thunderbolt lunge, lean forwards. Inhale, chair pose, right foot meets the left. Good, straight away, exhale, left foot back, aeroplane the arms. Inhale, high lunge, arms reach. Exhale, thunderbolt lunge. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, right foot back, aeroplane the arms. Inhale, high lunge. 
Exhale, thunderbolt lunge. Inhale, chair pose. And then exhale, straighten the legs, release the arms, find your mountain pose. Whew, take a moment. Big sigh if you need to. I'm definitely a little bit out of breath. Good, and then just find mountain pose, toes together, if that feels good. Otherwise, they can be a little bit wider. Beautiful. Let's take an inhale, bend the knees, find Utkatasana chair pose. As you exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, bend the knees. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, step the left foot to the back of the mat. On an inhale, find high lunge, arms reach up to the sky. And as you exhale, bend both knees, release your arms towards the floor, really squeeze the thighs at the bottom. Inhale, straighten the legs, rise back to high lunge. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart, lean forwards, and then launch into warrior three. Flex the left foot, and then same as before, bend the left knee, and then lift the foot as high as it wants to go, so you're really active through the hamstring and the glutes. Good, hold it there, take an inhale, and an exhale. And then look forwards, inhale, draw the left knee into the chest. And then as you exhale, we're finding goddess pose. So begin to open the left knee to the left, big step out wide, bend both knees, sit down into your goddess. Good, draw the knees towards the little toe edges of the feet, chest lifts. Take an inhale here. And then on an exhale, bring your right hand towards the left foot as you straighten the right leg, left arm to the sky. So you're twisting into this side lunge variation. Inhale back to goddess, hands to heart center. And then switch sides, exhale, left hand to the right, straighten the left knee. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the left, left arm lifts. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the right. One more each side, inhale to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, goddess, to center. Exhale, straighten the legs. Turn ten toes in. And then forward fold, release, let it go. Good. Just take a big breath in. And a big sigh through the mouth. <sighs> Lovely. And then inhale, flat back. Turn your right toes forwards. Exhale, walk the hands around. Frame your right foot. Shift the weight into the right foot. And then inhale, left leg lifts up, finding your standing split. Point or flex the left foot. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Take an inhale here. And then as you exhale, little Shiva squat, you're going to bend both knees, bring the left knee to tap the right ankle. Inhale to extend. Exhale to tap. Inhale to extend. Exhale to tap. Inhale to extend. Exhale to tap. Last time, inhale to extend. Exhale to tap. Inhale to extend. This time exhale, feet together. Find your forward fold, let it go. On an inhale, circle the arms to standing, arms reach. And then exhale, bring your hands to your heart and then release your arms. Mountain pose, really nice. Take a full breath in. And then exhale, just let it go. Beautiful. On an inhale, bend the knees. Find Utkatasana chair pose. Exhale, straighten the legs, forward fold, let it go. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, hands down. This time, right foot steps back. Find your runner's lunge. Inhale, high lunge. Big reach up through the arms. And then exhale, bend both knees. Release the arms towards the mat. Inhale, straighten the legs back to high lunge. Exhale, hands to heart, lean forwards, warrior three. 
lift the right leg off the floor, flex the foot, squeeze the glutes, and then same thing, bend the knee, press the heel as if it was reaching the sky. Good, hold for the inhale. And exhale. You've got it. On an inhale, draw the right knee into the chest. And then exhale, goddess. Take that right leg all the way to the right. Bend the knee, sit down into it. Good, see if you can go a little lower, chest lift higher. Inhale. And then as you exhale, left hand comes over to the right, straighten the left leg, right arm to the sky. Get a few more of these. Inhale, goddess, to center. Exhale to the left, right hand down, left arm lifts. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale to center, squat low. Exhale, press through the feet, straighten the legs. Turn 10 toes in and forward fold. Release the hands, release the head, let it go. Take an inhale here. And an exhale. Lovely, on an inhale, flat back. Exhale, walk the hands around to frame your left foot. Inhale, standing split, lift the right leg high. Squeeze the glutes at the top, take a big breath in. And then exhale, bend both knees, tap the right knee to the left ankle. Inhale, straighten and lift. Exhale, bend and tap. Inhale, straighten and lift. Exhale, bend and tap. Inhale, straighten and lift. Exhale, bend and tap. Two more, inhale, straighten and lift. Exhale, bend and tap. Last time, inhale to lift. Exhale to tap. You've got it, last inhale takes you up. Lift, lift, lift. And then exhale, feet together. Forward fold, let it go. Inhale, circle the arms to standing. And then exhale, mountain pose, release the arms, let it go. Take a full breath in. And a big ah through the mouth. Really nice, you're doing so well. This is the last little bit of standing that we're gonna do. So let's inhale, circle the arms to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, left foot back. This time turn the back heel flat. Inhale, warrior two, cartwheel the arms open. Adjust your feet, nice bend into that front knee. And again, think about engaging the glutes, engaging the thighs. Take an inhale here. And then as you exhale, straighten the right leg, hands to heart, find your active side lunge. So don't go so low because you won't be able to get back up. Go take an inhale. And then exhale, warrior two, press off the left leg, bend the right knee. Let's keep moving, inhale, side lunge, nice and active. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, side lunge. Exhale, warrior two. One more time, inhale, side lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Take an inhale in warrior two. Exhale, forearm to thigh, hands to block or floor. Left arm over the ear for your side angle pose. And just use this as a moment to breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. On your next inhale, rise back, warrior two. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step the left foot forward, find your forward fold. Inhale, circle the arms to standing, reach up. And then exhale, release your arms next to your hips. Good, last side, inhale, circle the arms. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale to halfway lift. 
Exhale, right foot steps back, turn the back heel flat. Inhale, warrior two, cartwheel the arms. And then exhale, just adjust your feet and bend into it. Nice firm press through the feet, nice strong engagement through the thighs. Take a breath in here. And then exhale, straighten the left leg, bend the right knee. Maybe forearm comes to thigh, maybe the left toes lift. Take an extra breath in. And then exhale, find your warrior two. Inhale, bends the knee, side lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Last time, inhale, bend and lift. Exhale, warrior two. Hold warrior two, inhale. Exhale, your side angle, either forearm to thigh, arm to sky or over the ear, or that left hand can come to the floor or maybe a block. Bend into it, press through the feet, slow the breath. Lovely, on your next inhale, warrior two. Exhale, cart all the hands down. This time, step back into downward facing dog. And once you get there, just pedal out the legs, give the hips a shake, just do what feels right. And then look to the front of the mat, inhale. And then exhale, come to seated. So a step, walk, hop, jump, all the way through. And then you're just going to lie down on your back, setting up for bridge pose. Soles of the feet to the floor. Heels of the feet close to the sit bones, palms flat. And then on an inhale, just press through the feet, the big toes, lift the hips, come into bridge. Same as before, engage the glutes, squeeze them at the top, last little push here. And then from there, begin to tr transfer the weight into the left foot. Inhale, draw the right knee into the chest. And then exhale, send the right foot to the sky. Keep pressing through the left foot, inhale. Keep the right leg straight, exhale, release the bum to the mat. Good, so lifting and lowering like this, lift up, press through the left foot, lower down. Go, keep going, lifting up, lowering down. Lifting up, lowering down, lifting up, lowering down, lifting up, lowering down, three more, lifting up, lowering down, lifting up, lowering down, last one, lifting up, hold, 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 squeeze, and then release the tailbone, bend the right knee, place the foot back to the mat. Good, take an inhale in on the floor. Exhale, press through the feet, lift to bridge last time. Inhale, draw the left knee into the chest. Exhale, send the left leg up to the sky. F press through the right foot, flex the left foot, inhale. Exhale, lower the back down to the mat. Good, keep going, lifting up, lowering down, lifting up. Lowering down, lifting up, lowering down, keep trying to squeeze at the top, lifting up, lowering down, you have three more, lifting up, lowering down, two more, lifting up, lowering down, one more, lifting up, squeezing, holding, and release. Bring both feet to the floor, maybe hug the knees into the chest, just rock a little bit. Nice, take a big breath in, big sigh, lovely, and then just place the feet flat to the mat, take your right ankle on top of your left ankle, draw the knee away from you, stay there if that feels enough, otherwise interlace the fingers behind the left thigh, lift the left foot and come into your seated, your reclined pigeon should I say. Maybe close the eyes, relax the shoulders, the head, maybe wiggle a little bit, but just really enjoy that stretch. It should feel quite good after that practice, just getting into the glutes, the outer hips. Lovely. 
Lovely, and then keep the right ankle on the knee, but release the left foot to the mat. Take the arms to a T and then drop both knees to the right. The weight of the left foot will just help stretch open the left outer hip a little bit more. Of course, if this doesn't work for you, choose a different variation. And slowly bring yourself back to center. Bring the right foot to the floor, place the left ankle on top of the knee, draw it away from you. And then again, stay there or find your variation. Maybe lightly pressing the left elbow against the inner thigh just to deepen it a little bit more. And just close the eyes and just let go now of any breath control. Everything is just slowing down, softening. And then release the right foot to the floor, keep the ankle where it is, arms to a T, drop both knees over to the left, coming into your twist. And then slowly come back to center, release the legs to the bottom of the mat, arms to the back of the mat, just take a full body stretch. And then release into your chosen position for Shavasana. Somewhere where you can be completely comfortable, completely still, completely relaxed. Just let the eyes close, let the shoulders soften. Just allow all of the hard work just to melt away. And just settle into this peace.
And as always, you can stay here for as long as you would like to. Otherwise, if you're with me today, just begin to wiggle fingers and toes. Taking any movements that you need to take just to come back into the physical body. And eventually just bending the knees, either hugging the knees into the chest or just bringing the soles of the feet flat to the mat. Maybe rocking a little bit side to side. And then keep the eyes closed and just transition up to a comfortable seat in any way that you would like to get there. And just sit however feels most comfortable, most natural. Let the spine grow tall, let the shoulders relax. Let's just finish by taking a final deep breath in. And a big sigh, let it go. Bring your hands together into prayer, bow the forehead, take with you this power, energy, strength through the rest of your day, through the rest of your week, through the rest of the year. Thank you for sharing it and joining me on the mat today.